I found this organization called Really Living, and I'm going to go out there today and meet them and see if I can help in some way. John? John Cook, yes, I am. John, I'm Mark. How are you? Hey, how are you? Very Good nice to meet you. you. Two people die every day in Michigan due to a lack of insurance. So 39-year-old John, a former limousine driver, founded Really Living to offer Detroit's uninsured patients free transportation to medical appointments. I'm a dialysis patient. You know, I've been on dialysis for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. I guess I deal with it OK now. But for years, I did you know, feel like, you know, well, why me, and wrestle with it for a long time. I used to see patients at the dialysis clinics that were really sick, sitting in a lobby for hours after a treatment because they didn't have anybody to come get them. Mm. And I just decided to quit feeling sorry for myself, and maybe it was I was meant to help. That's really wonderful. And then, you know, another thing, too, when, you know, you have an illness that could kill you, you're always cognizant of your mortality. and. Mm. I'm also concerned with how my daughter will view me and what people, you know, will tell her about her father. How old's your daughter? Five. Mm. So, you know, I just want to make sure she knew her father was a good guy and tried to oh. help as many people I'm as sure possible. She, I'm sure she knows her father is a good guy. guy. My, uh, my wife had diabetes, and, mm -hmm. uh, and so she got a lot of treatment or whatever, but, you know, we were fortunate enough that she had good insurance and that I could right. afford good medical care, but. But I understand a lot of people don't have that. Man, we get calls every day for transportation. I have a ledger full of names. More people than you're able to, to oh, call yeah, me right now. Without question. Does anybody need a ride today? I've got a driver's license. Put me in a van or something. Let me. Let me <laughs> I wish I had a help. van to put you in, let but if help. you have let a me car, go, then. Let me go drive some people to the doctor and, uh, you know. You know, we need all the help we can get, and I'm, I certainly appreciate you uh, volunteering. I do, everything I, I do everything I can. Today, Mark will be both driver and caretaker for a client. Hi, I'm How you Mark. Doing, Mark. You're I, Matt. Matt, okay. <laughs> this is one of our uh, favorite people, so be careful. Oh, Matt. absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to drive more careful than I drive by myself. For the past eight months, Matt has been depending on really living to transport him to dialysis appointments. I'm in the back room, okay. which we call the VIP section. In the VIP section. Yeah. Okay. All right. My blood circulates through this machine, and that's what cleans the blood. This is my kidney. That's your kidney. Yeah. This organization is important because a lot of people don't have the money. They can't get to the doctor. Or let's say if you have dialysis, you have to get there three days a week, back three days a week, and maybe you can't drive. Or maybe you're on some kind of uh, you know, medical program or insurance or whatever, and they just don't pay for that. Hey, Mark. Yes, this is Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Hey. How are you? Mark um, are you? drove me to dialysis today. Oh, so, how so wonderful. I'm <laughs> trying to help out. Uh, and oh, I met, uh, how nice. John and, and his organization. I love really living, and I've never seen anything like this before. How you long know? have you, uh, you know, been on the dialysis? How long have you? Um, four years ago, I had a transplant. I, I got a kidney. I had a kidney. Mm -hmm, I and had it, a kidney transplant. What happened? It lasted a good three years, and my transplant had failed. I have to think positive, and I have to stay positive. I definitely have hope for another kidney. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on the waiting list. They told me about. Four more years. So I'll be doing this for about four years. Courtney is just a young gal. She has a happy face. And yet, you know, she's going through all this uh, pain. I'm trying to volunteer and help out, perhaps help out with uh, really living and help John. And, and, and so let me ask you, uh, what could help you out? I just recently moved into my apartment. I definitely have things that like, I need moved around because okay. it's too heavy for me. I know? see. Well, I, I'm sure I could probably do things like that. <laughs> That's such an easy yeah, request. It, it is easy. It's such easy. an easy request. You don't, you don't demand much. No, so it's okay. not easy to me, no. Well, Anything uh, you do would be wonderful for me. <laughs> it's kind of mind-blowing what people go through. And so they keep plugging away. And the hopes that all of them have were to basically get a kidney. If I could write a check and buy kidneys, I'd give every penny I have, buy every person a, a new kidney, and I'd stay in this house in Detroit, and uh, you know, I, I could do with nothing because I have my health. And uh, it just, it's just very touching. Hi. Hey. How are you? Good, good. Good to see you. Exhaustion is a side effect of dialysis. Really living extends beyond transportation to offer household help as well. Put me to work. I can't. I volunteer. Put you to work.
get out the whip and uh, let me do something. I was gonna do this, but honestly, I'll probably fall downstairs. Okay, no, 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 no. Downstairs in no. my storage. Courtney has some things that she wants to put down in the storage, and she doesn't have the strength to do that. So I help her by kind of cleaning some things out and putting them in the storage area down in the basement. And uh, it was not only helping her with the chores around the house, but just spending some time uh, letting her know that people care about her and care about her daughter. That's my daughter right there. See, oh, that's her. That's her school picture. Oh, OK. Her name's London. Oh, she's cute. Look at that little nice smile. Uh, she's actually up north for vacation with my dad and my stepmom. So how old is she now? She's four. OK. so. Because you were on dialysis, has this affected her health? How is she doing? What's... Um, I had her at 27 weeks. 27 weeks? Wow. I was right under seven months. Okay. And she was one pound, 10 ounces. They had to give her emergency colostomy. It was a six hour operation. Mm -hmm. And then that ended up going bad. And it was very stressful, very traumatizing for her, you know? That was the surgery that they just did three months ago. Mm -hmm. Now she only has half of her colon. And um, she ended up staying in the hospital for two months straight. And that's when my transplant failed. <laughs> she transplant when she went in the failed. hospital, my she, kidney transplant failed. She has a double burden. You know, she has dialysis. And on top of it, she has all the problems that her daughter has with her health. You know, she's 24 years old. She's a young kid. And I just feel bad what, what, what she has to go through in life. You're going through so much with yourself and your daughter. If I could make wave a magic wand or somebody <laughs> and say three wishes could come true, what would they be? For my daughter to be happy and healthy. Make your daughter healthy and happy. OK? That's wish number one. But you get two more wishes. <laughs> What's the second wish? That's just, that's all I want. Thank you so much, yeah, Mark. Yeah. You're such a good person. Oh, Thank you're sweet. you. Can I get a hug? Oh. I'm so glad you got to come. Oh, you're so sweet. It really does mean a lot to me. Well, it does. Thank you. I need more people like you. Yeah. Secret millionaire Mark has been recognizing unsung heroes within the Detroit community. He's on his way to really living to surprise John, who transports patients to treatment despite his own life-threatening disease. Hey, how are hey. you this afternoon? John, how are you? I'm great. How about yourself? Yeah, good. Just wanted to come by and say so long and uh, tell you, you know, that I really enjoyed having the chance to find out about really living. Uh, I think what you're doing is unbelievable. I mean, you put so much effort into helping other people and helping people with dialysis, and so uh, I just just want to tell you how how much I think of you and your organization and the good you're doing. You're you're helping people. It. You're we're just trying to do what we can. I, I appreciate uh, you volunteering. I wish uh, we had more people like yourself, but uh... you know when. When we talked, we got to know each other, mm -hmm. and I, I, I told you a little bit about myself. All right. You know, something I didn't tell you mm -hmm. is that I'm a successful businessman. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have something in my pocket here. Oh. And it's a little gift to help out what you're doing. And I'd like to make a donation to such a good cause. And I have a check made out to Really Living that's for forty thousand dollars. Oh man! <sighs> I appreciate it, man. You just don't know how many more people we can help. You know. It's the least I can do. You are such a giving person, I and I it. want in my way. I want to give something to. You and everybody that I saw, I'm, you guys moved me, and uh, I. <sighs> John. Thank you very much. These people have enough to cope with, and they don't need any more. So it's just going to make things a little bit easier. I, I know it's, you know, it's yeah. going to do a lot of good. I have one more stop to make. Everybody I've met in Detroit has affected me, but there's nobody who's affected me like this next individual. This person's been through a lot, and I'm going to give them a very special gift. Hey. Hi. 
Hi, Courtney, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good, good Come to see on you. In. Thank you, thank you. I came by, because uh, I'm going to be heading back to uh, California pretty soon, but I wanted to stop by and visit with you for a couple of minutes, okay? okay? You know, when I heard all that you go through, I figured, you know, at, your, you know, at the age of 24, you know, you've been through more stuff than people should have to go through in a lifetime, yet you were so sweet, and, oh. and, 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 and you were, like, so nice. And you, uh, you kind of touched my heart. You put yourself last and, and your daughter first. And that shows me a couple things. It shows me about a beautiful heart. It also shows me that you're an awesome mother. Thank you. You're such a special person and, and you've been through so much. Uh, there's, there's like one thing I left out when I was telling you about myself. What's that? And the thing I didn't tell you is that life has been pretty good to me. Uh, I've you know, been lucky and I've made a lot of money in, in, in the real estate business. Mm -hmm. And I didn't tell you, but I'm a millionaire. What? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh. I am, I'm well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Anyway, yeah, it is cool. <laughs> but anyway, Courtney, I have, a, I have a gift that I think what? is going to hopefully... What? Gift. Because I, I want to do something to make your life better. What are you better. doing? And I have a check made out to you, Courtney, for twenty thousand no, dollars. Yes, I do. Are you serious? This is a gift. No. When you when you get a gift, you you take it. You accept are it. You, are you for real? Yes, I'm for real. I'm oh for, for real. I'm for real. I'm not trying to get any more. Money this, this is real. This, this is, is really real. real. This is real. I wouldn't kid you Good about this. Good things don't happen to me. Oh, come here, come here. <laughs> and you're making I me cry. I don't know anything about this. Oh. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I'm sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> I just want to provide for my daughter, give her a nice place to live, a nice a nice life like i just want to have a nice life for her <laughs> i want her to have nice clothes and good mm, pair of shoes oh. and... see this shows how great you are everything for <laughs> your daughter and nothing for you okay you know? i'll get a new pair of shoes <laughs> i see what she's going through and you know she breaks my heart and i wanted to do something nice for her and and help her life <laughs> 